Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. I'm Kelly. I am so glad you're here. Today, we're going to go back in time. These are three projects that I did when I first started my channel, and they're so stinking cute. And I just wanted to share them with my new subscribers or my existing subscribers that may not have watched this video. So I started off with picture frames from the Dollar Tree. And I used E6000 and hot glue, and I glued them together, kind of grouping them two by two, and then adding the third one. I ended up gluing nine picture frames together, which turns into like a cute little window. And this project is so cute. It's perfect for spring, but it also can be used for summer decor as well. And I was so, I remember being so proud of this project when I first came up with the idea for this. And I still to this day have this hanging. It's actually right now in my craft room. We never did get that deck where I wanted it to be. <laughs> and that was my original plan was to hang it outside on the deck. So once I had the frames all glued together, I reinforced the back with popsicle sticks, which is really easy with picture frames because there's grooves from the frame and the hot glue goes right inside. Now, this is so cool. I got this from Dollar Tree and it looks like tile and it's sticky. So what I did was I took the glass from the picture frames and I traced around each individual glass and then I just cut that contact paper and stuck it right to the glass and put the glass back in the picture frames. This is so easy and like I said, it's interchange interchangeable <laughs> because that uh, brick, you can just peel right off the glass if you want to change this up and make it something different. So once I had them all cut out, I just grabbed each piece and then attached it to the glass and like i said if you don't like that look and you want to change it up you can so these are magnets from the dollar tree and i just used e6000 and glued them down now the magnets are different from the clips i bought clips and magnets but the clips fit perfect on top of the magnet hope that makes sense so using e6000 and hot glue i glued down the magnet to the center of well not the center i put the measurements up there to the top <laughs> of each glass let that dry thoroughly and set that aside because we're going to be adding those clips now i had taken this uh picture frame outside i spray paint it white now you see me coming in with elephant kind of distressing it one thing I would probably change up about this project is maybe not add so much elephant paint, just a little bit. Now, you know I save everything. So this was a topper off a Dollar Tree sled sign, and I painted it white, grabbed some letters, spelled out the word herbs, and then painted them white and came in with some elephant as well to distress it. Again, uh, something I would change up about this project is not put as much elephant or maybe come in with some truffle, something else, just to distress these letters. But once that was all done, I just glued the letters down to this little board. This is where it really comes in handy when you save pieces of signs or just things that you didn't end up using for a project, just save them because you never know when you're gonna go back and you can utilize some of those. So this is what it looks like after it's dried. It's super cute. Now I'm just gonna push up those little clips in the back and I'm gonna add all of my glass back into the frames and then push those little clips right back down to hold it in place, making sure that my magnets are at the top. I don't know how many times I put things together just to realize I did it upside down. <laughs> so make sure all your magnets are at the top. Now you're gonna take those jock clips also from the Dollar Tree and see they just stick right to the magnets, which is so stinking cute. I love this teal from Krylon. And I took the clay pots from Dollar Tree, you get three in a package, and now I'm just attaching those clay pots to the clips. And of course I use nine because for nine picture frames, each of the clips gets a clay pot. Then I just come in with some filler 
and put it in the bottom of the clay pots and then I go into my stockpile and grab different um, flor florals and greenery to mimic herbs because I want this to look like there's herbs coming out of each of those pots. I'm, yeah, I'm having a brain freeze here. I'm forgetting. <laughs> I'm forgetting what I want to tell you. Okay, so we want it to look like an herb garden. So we want to mimic herbs coming out of the pots. I went into my stockpile and I grabbed some floral that I thought looked kind of like herbs and I put little pieces in each pot and that's it. I have my little herb garden sign. I absolutely love it and here it is all finished. This next project is using these doors I got from Dollar General on sale after Christmas. And I saw this like door shelf, corner door shelf um, on Pinterest and I thought I could mimic that in a smaller version. So just using some Jenga blocks and wood glue, I glued one, two, three, four, six of them together. <laughs> in two groups of six and that's going to be the base of the shelf and then I took the two doors and painted them black and came back in with white and came back in I think with elephant until I had the desired look I also did that on the Jenga blocks as well to match the doors this is such a simple easy project I absolutely love this corner shelf and it's so simple to make these doors um, is probably going to be the hard part because I've only seen them at Dollar General during Christmas. So this project might have to wait till Christmas comes and they sell these doors again. But I have seen them there every single year. So you can paint your door, corner door shelf, any color you want. Um, I started with black so that I could just kind of chunky paint the white and gray on top of it. But of course you could start with black, then paint the whole thing white and then distress it so the black comes through. There's so many different ways. I might pull this off my wall and maybe paint it again to revamp it and show you another way to paint it. But this is how I did it originally and I absolutely love how this turned out. This was one of my earlier videos and of course I forgot the footage of how to put it together. <laughs> but I used um, E6000 and popsicle sticks to make sure that this wasn't going to break apart and that I could put something somewhat heavy on the shelf. So yes, E6000, hot glue, reinforced it with popsicle sticks, put the two pieces together, attached them to the doors. And this shelf I think I did this video a couple of years ago. The shelf is still on my wall. I've had heavy items on it and it's never broke. Now I just took a door pull, put it in the corner for a door handle and oh my gosh, the cutest little shelf ever. And here it is. For the last project, I'm going to show you how I took two thrifted pieces and made a cabinet for my husband. Um, I found this at a thrift store, cleaned it up. It's just 
a box I still to this day not quite sure what it originally was used for and then I think this is a door to a cabinet I also found it at the thrift store. Um, I loved that I found something that was the same size as the first, like, I guess this might have been a little cabinet box or a shadow, I'm not sure what it was. But I knew I could put these two pieces together to make a cabinet. So I just taped off the glass and painted that glass door and painted the original box. Again, I was using white and truffle and cool, just using a bunch of colors. I'm gonna sand some parts and I'm gonna use the paint to distress other parts. I wanted this to look real farmhouse country. That's why I was doing kind of both techniques with so sanding it and then coming in and adding a little paint and highlighting certain areas to give it that distressed look. I used a poster board from Dollar Tree, cut it down to size, and I used that as the back of my cabinet. I just cut it down to size and then attached it with some little bitty nails to keep it in place. And that worked perfect for a little backing. And then I added some hinges to attach the door and some magnets so that the door would stay shut. And then I added a handle to the door. And this project was probably under $10 and I ended up with such a sweet little cabinet for my husband. He was in the Navy and he has a yearbook in pins and medals. And I thought this cabinet would display those so beautifully so they could be out in the open for everybody to enjoy. So while I'm showing you how I attach the doors and the hardware, I'm going to fill you in on where I've been for the last two weeks. So our bathroom and our bedroom needed some really um, <laughs> a lot of work. Um, we had a beam that was structurally damaged under our tub. So it basically had to, had to be gutted. The tub had to be moved up had to be on stilts while that beam was replaced. Then we had to put in a new floor. We had to fix the walls, repaint. Um, it's been a process. And then we decided to fix the floor in the kitchen because our water heater burst and our floor got damaged. <laughs> and so we ended up doing our half bath as well. So for the last two weeks, it's been nonstop. My house has been in disarray. I've been in disarray. <laughs> and we've been trying to get this done. So that's where I've been. I'm sorry I had to put YouTube on hold. Um, I just had to. But I hope you guys understand. I will show some pictures. I did not film while we were doing this. I wasn't in the mindset to film. I just wanted to get it done. I will show pictures of our updated bathroom uh, once I compile all those together and show you. But here's that beautiful cabinet I made for my husband. And I just absolutely love this cabinet. We've actually added to it. This is an older video and it's perfect. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this blast from the past. All three original videos I'll have linked in the description box below. And next week I will be back with a brand new video. Have a blessed week, everybody. I love y'all so, so much. And I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for your love and support and for your patience. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye, y'all.